Hello everyone and welcome back to iFilm Things. I am Philip and today I'm going to show you how to do a Love, Death and Robots style intro. So first off, get yourself some icons from the internet and if you want you can then animate them in Adobe Illustrator or you can create them from scratch in Premiere Pro from the Essential Graphics panel. Either way, once you've gotten your icons in Premiere Pro, you're going to make two sequences, your main one and a vertical one. So to get a vertical sequence, go to settings in your new sequence window and set the editing mode to custom. Then set the horizontal to 1080 and the vertical to 1920. Next, bring in all the icons underneath each other in the vertical sequence. And make sure that the top and bottom icons are the same. Then bring your vertical sequence into your main sequence so then we can animate it. First off, reposition the vertical sequence so the bottom icon is in the middle of the screen. Then let it play for a bit and make a keyframe in the position properties. Then let it play for one second, then make another keyframe and drag the sequence down so then the top icon is in the middle of the screen. And then make a cut. If you have problems finding the middle of the screen, you can turn on the ruler and the guides from the program monitor window to help make sure the start and end icons are in the same spot. Now copy and paste the motion properties from your first clip to your newly made second clip and move the first keyframe to the start of the clip. Then right click on the first keyframe in the first clip and set it to ease out. And pull the lever completely to the right. Then right click on the last keyframe in the second clip and set it to ease in. And then pull the lever completely to the left. This will cause the effect to start slowly and then in the middle go really fast and then go slowly again at the end. Then nest the clips and apply the track matte key effect to the nested sequence. Set the matte to track 4 and the composite to track alpha. Then place a color matte on track 4. This color matte will be used for our track matte layer effect so make sure that you set it to white. For this we only need a small part of the matte. So we need to apply the crop effect to our color matte and drag the top and bottom values until they're just above and just below the icons. So right now, you'll have something that looks like this. Looking good, but we need to create other icons. So duplicate the vertical sequence, rearrange the icons within that sequence, and redo the steps that we've done before. And now you'll have something like this. And to finish off, we can add some glitchy effects and transitions, like the VR digital glitch effect. And some basic shape effects and titles. Do whatever you want, just make sure it's creative. And there you have it, that is how you can create a Love, Death and Robots style intro sequence yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope it helped you in any way, shape or form. And if it did, you know what to do. And as always, stay safe, stay creative, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!